Brad Dirchlag, third year head coach of the women's basketball team, joins us today as WCPoets.com previews the 2010-2011 season. Coach, you have a nice mix of veterans and newcomers to this year's squad. Talk a little bit about how this team has come together and how they're gelling through the preseason. We're really excited about this team, Travis. We have 14 girls on the team, seven new faces, and seven returners. Uh, the returners have done a great job teaching the girls the system and the drills, and the new faces have done a great job challenging the girls in practice every single day. It's some of the most competitive practices we've had since I've been here. One senior I know you're going to rely on is Courtney Zilbert. She's just 56 points shy of reaching the 1,000 point milestone for her career. Just talk a little bit about the leadership she brings to the court. Courtney was uh, is one of our captains as elected by our team, and her leadership is just through her effort. You know, she's one of our hardest workers out there, and it's not just points with her. It's defense, rebounding, and she really leads by example. Last year, you got a nice bonus with the emergence of Tina Merlino. She ended the season ranked 12th nationally in field goal percentage. What type of leader is she on and off the court? Uh, Tina's another one of our captains, and you know her breakout season last year surprised everybody but us. She's a great, a great person to have and a very hard worker, and we're really excited about what she brings to the table every day. Who else, in terms of returners, are you expecting to make an impact this year? And Kimmy Liu, one of our other captains, and Brittany Aranda logged a lot of minutes for us last year, and they're going to continue to do that this year. Essen Scott is playing, is doing a great job in the post for us. Monica Salazar, Salazar missed all of last season due to injury, and she's having a phenomenal preseason. We're really excited about that. And Alex Bassett had her first practice today, and we're excited to get her back on the court. How about the newcomers? Talk to us a little bit about the, the fresh faces to the program we can come to expect big things from. Uh, Alex Coons, our transfer from Alaska, who has been playing great since she stepped on campus and, and really leads by example also. Uh, we have three players who played together summer league ball in San Diego, Tia Johnson, Danielle Hayes, and uh, Bianca Mitchell. And that experience together is really translating on the court. Uh, Marissa Bruce had a great high school team, and that success of winning, you can tell, has is, is really uh, helped her here in college. And Danielle Quinones and uh, Amanda Apgar are doing a great job for us, too. So with all that said, what are the team expectations for this season, and, and how do you see your team stacking up with the rest of the conference? We just want to get better every single day, whether it's in practice or whether it's from a game. I think one of the most important things is we continue to improve. It's a tough conference. Redlands won the conference last year, Oxy the year before, Cal Lutheran's getting better. This is really one of those conferences that any night anybody can beat anybody. And we really feel if we continue to improve, exciting things can happen. Well, Coach Dirchleg and the women's basketball team hit the hardwood on Monday, November 15th, for the opening of the season. They will be at NAIA Power Biola for a 7 p.m. tip-off. Coach, thanks for joining us today, and good luck this season. Thanks for having me, Travis.